Hello guys, today we're gonna rework a shock sensor on a Seagate hard drive. Basically, this piece what it does, it detects movement on the on the hard drives and it stops the motor from spinning. Apply flux. It has polarity, so make sure you put it back with a new piece the same way. Apply about 260-280 degrees temperature until you see the it melts and you can easily remove it from the board. Clean the board to remove all the residues. Apply clean flux again to the parts. And remove the old solder. You don't want to solder it to the old solder. You want to put new solder. After you remove the solder, clean the parts again. Make sure you clean with isopropyl or alcohol 100% apply flux again you have to thin the parts now so they have fresh solder okay now after you thin the parts Apply flux again. Now this sensor is about three millimeter long by two millimeter. So, not the smallest part. It's quite easy to remove and refit. Now, place it in the position. Make sure you put the polarity right. And start heating up until you see the solder melts under it. You will automatically readjust in the position. That's if you're using the proper solder and if you're using good quality flux, you don't want to use the cheap $2 flux, you want to use proper Amtec flux. And this is it.